Jeffries. And if you're looking for the perfect Mother's Day gift, look no further. Give mom the ultimate gift of self-discovery with an Ancestry gift subscription and a DNA kit. What better way to tell your mother you love her? Yeah. Mum, spit in this tube. In a few weeks, you'll find out which one of your grandparents was having an affair. <laughs> Thanks to companies like Ancestry.com and 23andMe, more than 12 million people have taken genetic screening tests. So what's the appeal? Many home genetics tests can also tell you what diseases or conditions you're predisposed to. They're great for finding out about who your ancestors were, where they were from, and for finding others who share the same genes. You can actually find out that you have relatives that you didn't know existed. Yeah, relatives you didn't know existed are rarely good. It's... <laughs> it's... It's never something fun like, I just found out my great-great-grandfather invented Tic Tacs. It's, <laughs> it's usually, I just discovered that my great-great-grandfather owned slaves who invented Tic Tacs. <laughs> but good news, I'm predisposed to dementia, so I won't even remember the details. <laughs> who wants a Tic Tac? <laughs> Discovering your heritage sounds great. But there's a lot to be sceptical about because mail-order genetic screening isn't always what you'd call accurate. I think it's misleading. These companies are really trying to push the idea that this is scientific. But know that you are just getting some information that is an approximation of how your DNA compares to other people. These tests aren't just imprecise. Sometimes they're flat-out wrong. Companies have issued human results for dog DNA and even tap water. I, I don't know what's more disturbing, finding out your German shepherd's related to Hitler or learning <laughs> that your tap water is a Jew. <laughs> How will these two ever get along? <laughs> to find out, tune into the new sitcom, H2O No, <laughs> this summer on Fox. The dog is voiced by Ray Romano. Oh, no, I'm related to Hitler. Oh, <laughs> but I'm thirsty and I want to drink water, but it's a Jew. <laughs> These screening tests can also have big privacy issues. If you agree to participate in research, you're not just allowing companies to trace your ancestry. You're allowing them to give your data to third parties. So are they selling our data? Yes, period. This is your genetic code. You know someone somewhere is using that information to build human clones. Can, can you imagine if there was an evil Jim Jeffries out there? Yeah. He'd, he'd probably tell everyone that I'm the evil clone and he's the real me. <laughs> anyway, the, the way to spot the fake Jim Jeffries is he's scared and naked and running around with rope burns on his hands and he's recently escaped from my basement. <laughs> So if you see him, shoot him. <laughs> Home genetic testing has turned race into a game show. It's a way to make people make themselves feel more exotic. But trying to be something you're not doesn't work out well for anyone. Like this police officer who learned he had a small amount of African heritage. Brown shared the news with his brothers in blue. He claims he was publicly taunted, finding a black Santa Claus figurine marked 18% on a police station Christmas tree. Brown and his lawyer now suing for half a million dollars. And he won the settlement. So I don't want to hear anything more about discrimination in law enforcement. This proud black man, Mr. Brown, won his settlement against the police. So black people, I think we're even, right? But look, I wanted to at least give these services the benefit of the doubt. So I sent out my own sample to be tested. And I, I, I just received the results here. Let's, let's take a look at this. Wait, wait a minute. This does not reflect my family history at all. Something, something, something's wrong here. Look, look I'm, just, I'm just gonna call my parents very quickly and get to the bottom of this. Jim, how nice of you to call. Hi, hi Mum, hi, Dad. You seem troubled, son. What's bothering you? I, I got my genetic test screening back. Is, is there something you want to tell me? Well, Jim, the truth is... The truth is I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Why didn't you say something? I've been shitting myself for years. Yes. 
That's what we never told you. You worked so hard, we didn't want to place that burden on your shoulder. Uh, I forgive you, I understand, but please, please, no more secrets from here on out. That's a promise. Have fun with your comedy skits. Uh, bye, Mum, bye, Dad. Send my love to Uncle Raj. Goodbye, son. Jesus, what an idiot. Right. There you go. I'm glad they closed their computer. Last time they left it open and I had to watch and listen to them f for hours. <laughs> Until me battery ran out, then, then I had to call them back. <laughs> <laughs>